What is going on guys, Sonic and the Bean Show here. Today we are back with a brand new Jack Specific review on the Metroid Prime 2 Samus action figure. This is a very unexpected release here. I don't know exactly when this came out. I just found out about this like a couple of days ago and was shocked to see this being a new figure. And I'm still shocked right now. Like it's been way too long since Jax released a new figure from another Nintendo franchise other than Mario. Like I think the last one they did was the Breath of the Wild Link figure back in 2017 and I think that was in wave 11 or 12. I can't exactly remember off the top of my head but let's take a closer look at the package in here. So starting up here we actually get a picture of Samus and then we get Metroid up here and then we get the Samus figure and then the Morph Ball right here. Now here's what's interesting about this. When I first seen this in stores I'm like okay cool they stay you know they made like a new sculpted uh, Samus figure for Metroid prime however right here it says metroid prime 2 so i did not expect that i didn't know this was just based off of metroid prime 2 i thought they were just doing like a new sculpt on the first one but we're actually getting one from metroid prime 2 which is really really cool i do like that actually and it looks great it looks really really great we are going to compare it to the older one so i can't exactly tell the difference but this one looks a lot cleaner i'll say that it looks kind of weird the way how the arm is placed in the you know package right there but you know underneath that we get samus uh with morph ball we get our warnings there jack specific on the side right here we get uh metroid and then on the other side we just to get Samus and then Metroid Prime 2 right there. Uh, there's the bottom right there, which all you know, with all like your your warnings and the barcode and all that other stuff, your license and stuff. And then coming to the back right here, we can see a nice shot of the Samus figure. We get Metroid, and then we do get a bio read right there. If you guys want to pause and read that, and then coming down, you know, it shows like you know what can move of uh, the articulation. It's actually different because they usually show like the arrows, but you don't really get that here. Uh, we get 17 points of articulation on this figure that is that is a lot right there that's pretty good actually and then we get like another picture of samus and then you'll know, see more of the jacks uh, website right there so that right there is the packaging guys i really like the way i look i like the nice space like art or background whatever behind it. it's very 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 cool the box is pretty similar to how the mario figures are you know the way how it's cut you know cut out like that so that was the packaging guys let's go ahead and crack this samus figure out of the packaging see how different it is compared to the older one and let's see how you know how different the, the articulation is on this thing as well so let's go ahead and crack this figure out of the packaging guys all right guys so here's the samus figure out of the packaging and there's a huge improvement between this figure and the first one they did a while back i'm very surprised at what i was getting into while playing with this figure now it does lack in some areas compared to the other one that we'll get into a bit when we do our comparisons but a lot of the stuff you're getting here with this samus figure for just being ten dollars is really impressive so that's already a huge plus for me but you guys won't know that until we get into the details of it so let's go ahead and go over Samus find out what the figure is all about compared to the older one and then give you my final thoughts near the end so here's a closer look at the Samus figure starting out with the head sculpt which you know I, I think it looks all right I think my only favorite thing about it is probably the visor like I think the paint that they did for the visor is a lot better than the old one like it's not just plain green there's actually like a you know a different shading going on with it this time which makes it a lot vibrant and it looks a lot better too and they even added some more paint to where the shoulder pads are which is nice so you get like those green lines there which wasn't on the older one now in some areas it, it does lack like for example to where you know underneath the the head the, the helmet i would say i think this is supposed to be black uh, along with like you know like where the shoulder pads would be at like right here i believe it is unless that's how it is in metroid prime 2 i haven't played the game in a very long time so i don't know how accurate that is but i'm pretty sure this part is supposed to be black along with the sides right here to where um, her shoulder is so i don't know and another thing is like where the tubes is like you know the tubes underneath the visor it's not sculpted as the, the you know the other Samus figures are they're just kind of like it just doesn't look that great you know like I don't know why they got it like that and there's not a lot of sculpting going on to the front you know I feel like there was a lot there was like more sculpting like like some armor 
type looking you know in where the chest part was and then to the torso but it's very like plain here so you don't get a lot of details there but everything else is okay like you know you get like some coloring going on to the arm cannon which I don't believe you got in the older figure but there is no paint you know inside the gun I think it's usually like you know orange or whatever but you don't really get that here I also do like how you get like some details at the bottom of the shoes right here which is very nice and then you can see some more to the side right here and then oh, I really like the um the attention to detail they did to the back right here like this is actually sculpted it's not just painted on to the back part right here along with like uh the jet is right here which is really nice now the paint does get messy in two areas right here for my figure so I have it here where the knees is you can see like I'm getting like some weird like black or maybe it's like greenish I don't know where that's coming from but it's coming here to the knees and then like where like this part is the orange is kind of coming down to uh not well like yeah like around to the the black part right here so yeah it's, it's like kind of like bleeding there a little bit but you know like i said i do like the new you know paint that we got going with this figure but you know in some areas it's just kind of lacking really and i will do like just a really short comparison how it is with this figure you guys can see the difference you know you can see the difference in the details with like the front you know with the, the arm cannon and then you know the side right there so oh wait let me move my hand right there but yeah you guys can see that another thing i've noticed is that this actually has the numbering to, uh, to the back of the foot and then this one has it right here to the thigh yeah that is uh the difference right there um we will do another comparison with that in terms of height but let's actually start off with the articulation on this figure now as far as articulation goes you do get some movement to the head right here but not a lot of range i feel like the older one could move the head just a little bit but this is as much as you're getting for the head articulation right there so you know there is that and i mean you can look up and down just eh, a little bit that's as much as you're getting for samus to look up and then you know down right there so you're only getting that much range now for the arms which is actually really really good so you do get a full rotation in the arms but you do get a really nice hinge right there which i was actually afraid of and you can see how the shoulder pad moves when i do that which is very very nice because you can move the shoulder pads right there you can see how I can actually move these up and down which is very very nice now samus actually gets double jointed elbows which is nice but it's kind of weird because you know you're moving this but then you're also like moving that and then that's how you have to do your double jointed elbows and it looks kind of weird like that because you can also like move it like this and it looks like samus got like a broken arm so I, I don't know you get that now for the hands you are getting a swivel right there and the hands can move uh left and right right there which is very very nice so there's the hands and samus does let me actually move the arms up right there but samus does get um waist articulation right there which is really really cool now for the legs uh samus can actually kick up about here which is actually really really good i don't want to move it up too much because i think it might pop out but you can move it up about there and back right there that is really really good um same thing with the arms you are getting your double jointed knees which is very nice so um they can't really move out this is as much as you're getting for samus to do out so you won't be getting no splits with that now coming to the feet right here um you don't really get any ankle articulation which i'm not a fan of because you know when figures don't have that it's a little hard for them to stand sometimes or they might fall forward and samus was having this problem because in the rotating base samus was kind of like tilting back and forth and you know she fell a couple of times so that does suck that you don't get any ankle articulation or any rocker as well you're only getting this you know the feet just moves up and down that is pretty much the articulation for samus and like i said the articulation is a huge improvement on this figure a really good figure again a ten dollar figure especially if you don't have a samus figure if you missed out on the old one or you know you can't afford the figma one this is the way to go man this is the way to go especially if you're like a huge uh metroid um um, fan actually there is one more thing i wanted to show you guys and that is the arm cannon now i know i already went over the double jointed elbows but for the arm cannon you can do the same thing as you guys can see now the thing is what samus i i thought this is what i don't like about 
about this figure is that you don't get a swivel to the elbows or any bicep swivel so you know you're very limited for samus to try to hold the um the arm cannon this is as much as i'm getting you know that's that's as much as i can get unless maybe i put the arm like this i guess like this is probably i don't know I, I can't do anything about it because that's there's no swivel to the bicep or the elbow so there's no way for samus to hold the, the the arm cannon because of no bicep swivel or no you know no elbow swivel and that's what this figure had this you know this figure had that you know it had the uh the bicep swivel and it had the swivel to the elbow but you don't get that for this figure you know like I, I don't know and I thought you you did actually because I seen like this cut and I thought that was gonna be the case but yeah you're sadly not gonna get that and I almost forgot another thing there actually is uh butterfly joints right there I didn't even think about that until I was moving the arm a bit there now before we do some more figure comparisons I do got to show off the morph ball accessory right here so here is how it looks compared to the older one right here so it is a lot bigger as you guys can see which makes sense because you know the Samus figure is a lot taller but you guys can see the difference right there to the side and then on this side right here you know so you get something like that um it's not green right here but yeah you guys can see the difference right there um so yeah that was just that i didn't really just need to spend too much time with the accessory since you really seen it in the packaging but let's get into some more comparisons for the samus figure all right now for your figure comparison here is the new samus figure with the first one by jackson then we got the figma one right here now this is actually the other m figma this isn't the metroid prime 3 one which is one that i could never really get at the time when it came out but this is the other m figma but you guys can see the uh height difference right here between these two like look how small this is compared to this one man that is well, that is a huge uh, difference right there compared to the height between these two. But yeah, you guys can see that. Um, obviously, I'm still going to always love the Figma one. But like I said, man, this this is a huge upgrade right here. I love that one a lot. Now, for another quick size comparison, here is Samus with the Hasbro Dino Charge Pink Ranger figure. And then we have the Bandai D-Arts Mega Man figure. And if you guys also want to know how does the Samus figure looks near the Metroid, well, here is your answer right here. And finally, here's a comparison with the other World of Nintendo figures. But I think that pretty much wraps up our review on the Jack specific Metroid Prime 2 Samus figure. Like I mentioned earlier, the best thing about this figure is definitely the tons of articulation that's added here and the height of the figure as well. I can't forget about that one. Although its weakness on the bicep and elbow swivel and the lack of detail in some parts is what hurts the figure here. But I got to give props to Jax for going back to the drawing board and actually taking the time to release a brand new Samus figure figure with a different sculpt here but overall I do like this figure a lot and I'm quite curious if they're planning to do any more Metroid figures in the near future. I think seeing a Dark Samus or maybe the Samus design from Metroid Dread would be cool to see in action figure form but I'm not too crazy about that one because I know Figma is already making the Metroid Dread one pretty soon but this figure is still pretty cool nonetheless. Definitely enjoyed myself with the review here. If you guys want to know where I picked this figure up at I did grab this at Walmart. I don't know if this is hidden other retailers though. I was only told that it was hidden Walmart stores as of now. But thank you all so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below. And I will definitely catch you guys in the next video. Take care my friends.